Hello everyone, how are you? Hope you are doing very well. So welcome to our math class. Today we will start to learn a new topic which is order of operations and we will cover page 307 and 308. If you are ready, please open page 307. Okay, let's start with a quick question. It say use different orders to find 28 minus 8 divided by 4. So sometimes while solving a special two-step problems, you can see the operations in this way. 28 minus 8 divided by 4. So how many operations do you see in this one? You can see subtraction and division. So you can follow two ways. First of all, you can subtract and then you can divide. Or firstly, you can divide and then you can subtract. Right now, we will focus on both of them. How can you find if you follow the first one? Subtraction first and then division. Let's do this. First of all, subtraction. 28 minus 8. What I will get? 28 minus it will be 8 20, is equal to right? 20. Perfect. So, after subtraction, I need to do division. 20 instead of 28 minus 8 right now I need to write 20 20 divided by 4 what I will get 5 so if I follow the first way I will get 5 what about the second way if I do division first and then if I subtract what I will get let's start with division 8 divided by 4 or 4 times what equal 8 2 good so 8 divided by 4 gives me 2 and then I need to subtract now 28 minus instead of 8 divided by 4 I need to write 2 because after division I get 2 28 minus 2 what I will get I will get 26 good job so Right now, if I follow two ways, I will get two different answers. How can I know which one is the right one for me? First of all, I need to follow division and multiplication. And then I need to follow subtraction or addition. Okay, now let's check your book. Open page 307. It says, if you solve a two-step problem in a different order, what do you think might happen? Remember our first question. We solved it in two different ways. What we get? We get two different answer, right? So you might not get the same answer, but it should be the same answer. How can I know which one is the right one? First of all, let's check it. Use different orders to find 4 plus 16 divided by 2. So, I, in this one, I can see two different operations, right? Addition and division. So, it means I can add and divide. Or, the second way is divide and add, right? So, there are two ways. Addi addition and division. Or, I will do division first and then addition. So, let's check which order is the best way for me. If I add first, it will be 4 plus 16. 4 plus 16. I will get 20. After that, I will do division. 20 divided by 2. Don't see 0. 2 divided by 2. If you divide a number by itself, you will always get 1. Right? Okay. So, I will get 1. And there is only 1 0 here. So, in, in near of 1, I need to put 0. So I will get 10 if I follow the first way, add, then divide. If I follow the second way, what I will get? First of all, division, then addition. So let's start with division. 16 divided by 2. 2 times what equals 16? 8. So I will get 8 at the end of division. Right now, 4 was here. 4 plus Instead of this division, I will write 8. 4 plus 8, I will get 12. Good. So, in the first way, I got 10. 
but in the second way I got 12 so if I follow two different ways I cannot get the same answer maybe I can get it but right now I couldn't get it so which one is the right one first of all we say this is order of operations the right one is we need to start with multiplication or division from left to right and then I need to follow addition or subtraction from left to right how can I know it first of all I said multiplication or division I need to check it 4 plus 16 divided by 2 which one is here multiplication or division division is here so it means I need to start with division first I need to divide second step includes which one which operation addition or subtraction which one is here addition so in this one if I want to get the uh, right answer first of all I need to divide then I need to add so it means the second way is the right one so at the end of this operations I should get 12 okay 10 is the wrong one I should get 12 12 is my right answer good okay it's a draw conclusion did following different orders change the answer remember our two answers so there were two ways and I found two different answer so I can say if I follow different orders my answer might be changed right so I'll say yes did following different orders change the answer yes it's changed what about question second second question if a problem has more than one type of operation how does the order in which you perform the operation affect the answer so first of all let's check my example 4 plus 16 divided by 2 it includes two different operation if say more than one type of oper operation it includes two type of operation addition and division if I follow different ways how it can change my answer so I can say if I follow a different order it can change my answer it changes the it changed the answer right so in the first one if I follow 8 then divide I'll get 10 but if I follow divide then add I'll get 12 so my answer changed good question 3 it say explain the need for setting an order of operation that everyone follows so how can I know which one is the right everyone will know what operation to do first and then we'll find the correct answer so I cannot say some people can follow this way and others can follow this way there should be only one right answer right so how can I decide which one is the first one I say that order of operations check it first of all I need to start with multiplication or division from the left side to the right side then I need to do addition or subtraction from left to right okay let's check okay right now please open page 308 it say when solving problems with more than one type of operation you need to know which operation to do first a special set of rules called the order of operations gives the order in which calculations are done in a problem first of all it's already given here multiply and divide from left to right okay multiplication or division first then I need to focus on addition or subtraction okay let's check my question here Megan buys two books for four dollars each she pays with a ten dollars bill how much money does she have left first of all if I want to follow if I want to solve this problem I can write the sentence like this she pays ten dollars 
So I need to do subtraction. How much I'll subtract? Two books for four dollars each. Two times four. So I can write this sentence to describe my question. So which one is the first one? Multiplication or subtraction? Check my order of operation. Check the first one. It includes multiplication or division. Which one is here? I have multiplication. Good. So first of all, I need to start with multiplication and then I need to subtract. Good. Okay, let's continue. We can say 10 minus 2 times 4. I said first of all, I need to start with multiplication. 2 times 4 equal what? 8. Good. So 10 will be same. 10 minus 8 instead of 2 times 4. Right now, I already find this multiplication. I need to write 8. 10 minus 8 equal what? Equal 2. So Megan has $2 left. Okay? Good job. Okay. It's asking for, does your answer make sense? Explain. So how can I know $2 left is my right answer? First of all, let's check my sentence again. 10 minus 2 times 4. Let's start with subtraction. If I do subtraction, I will get 10 minus 2. It will be 8. So instead of this subtraction, right now I need to write 8. 8 times 4 equal what? 32. Remember the question. Okay, let's remember the question. It was asking for how, me, how much left over, right? I found $32 left over, but she already pays $10. If she paid $10, she cannot get $32 left over. So this is, this solution is not right. This is the wrong one. So we can say, yes, my answer, right? $2 left over, right? Because if I subtract it first, like this, my answer will be, $32 and that is more money than I started with because I already start with 10 so my answer cannot be more than $10 okay good okay let's check share and show part from page 308 it's asking for write correct if the operations are listed in the correct order if not correct Write the, write the correct order of operations. First of all, let's check question one. It includes four plus five times two. So it includes two operations, right? Two different operations plus addition times multiplication. So we can say add then multiply or multiply then add. Which one is the right one? It's already given here. Multiply, then add. This is right? Yes, this is right. Because we already say that. First of all, if it is includes multiplication or division, I need to start with them. And then I need to check for addition and subtraction. Okay, so this order is right. Multiply, then add. Let's do this. First of all, let's multiply. 5 times 2 equals 10. So right now, instead of this multiplication sentence, I'll write 10. 4 plus 10 equals 14. So for this sentence, my answer will be 14. Good. Question 2. It say 8 divided by 4 times 2. It say multiply, then divide. So let's check my order of operations. It say first of all I need to start with multiplication or division. In question two, it's already given multiplication and division here. So if I have both of them, I always need to start with the from the left side to the right side. So in the left side, what I see division, 
and then multiplication so first of all I need to start with division then I need to multiply the correct answer should be divide and multiply okay let's do this 4 divided 8 divided by 4 first of all I need to do division I'll get 2 after this division so right now instead of this division I write 2 2 times 2 equal what? 4 so for second question my answer will be 4 good job okay let's check third question it say 12 plus 16 divided by 4 so it say first of all addition then division this is right no it's not right so which order is the right one First, I need to start with division and then I need to add, right? So, remember it, multiplication or division first. Then I need to check for addition or subtraction. So, first of all, I need to start with division here. Let's do this. 16 divided by 4 equals what? Or 4 times what equals 16? 4. So, instead of this division, right now I know it's equal 4. So I need to write for 12 plus 4 equal what? 16. So for third question, my answer will be 16. And I need to follow, first of all, division, then addition. Good. What about fourth question? It say 9 plus 2 times 3. Add, then multiply. This is right. It includes two types of operations, addition and multiplication. So which one is the first one? Good job. Multiplication is the first one. Check it. Multiplication or division first, then addition or subtraction. First of all, I need to start with multiply and then add. So let's start with the multiplication. 2 times 3 equal what? 6. Right now, I know it equals what? 6. Instead of this multiplication sentence, I write 6. So, 9 plus 6. 9 plus 6 equals 15. So, my answer will be 15. Good job. Okay, let's check fifth question. It say 4 plus 6 divided by 3. It say First divide, then add. Is it right? Perfect. It's right. This order is right. First of all, I need to start with division and then I need to add. Okay, let's start with 6 divided by 3 equal what? Or 3 times what equals 6? 2. Good. So right now, instead of this division, I know it equals 2. Instead of this, I need to write 2. 4 plus 2 equal 6. So, for fifth question, my answer will be equal 6. And this order is the right order. What about last question? It say 36 minus 7 times 3. It say first multiply, then subtract. Is it right? Good job. It's right. It's correct. First of all, I need to start with multiplication. Then I need to subtract. Okay, let's start with multiplication. 7 times 3 equal what? Good job. 7 times 3 equal 21. Then I need to do subtraction. First of all, I know this multiplication sentence equal 21. So instead of this operation, I need to write 21. 36 minus 21. 36 minus 21 equal what? 15. Good. So for the last question, my answer will equal 15. And this order is the right order. Don't forget it. Order of operation. First of all, I need to check it for multiplication or division. Then I need to check it for addition or subtraction. Check 
question for a uh, question two again it includes multiplication and division both of them in this situation I need to start the, the operation from the left side to the right side in the left side I know I have division here so it means I need to start with division and then multiplication good job thank you so much take care of you